Let's take a look at this. An elderly lady is looking for the Yamato Yamato house in Shikuro Magishi-san almost got hit by the black car. Huh? So now we gotta look for this house. Okay. Wait, it's saying A. Where's the A coming from? Now, Yuki. Yo! Got a sec? Sure. Hey, is everything okay? Yeah, but hey, on that day, did you see any men wearing black suits? Black suits? No, I sure didn't. I see. Any idea who might know about those men in black suits? Hmm. Maybe Sakura Gaoka Gossip Gaggle might know something. You know how they're always yakking over near the payphone. Try asking them. Good idea. So I got like two missions here. Um, I gotta find this house for this lady. Let's see. Perhaps they're out? I don't have any reason to be here. I shouldn't intrude. Okay, he's not gonna knock on that door. No one's home. Okay. Let's try for a couple more minutes. Oh my god, I'm having navigational problems here with this character. Oh, wait. So we can't go in there, okay. Let's ask a kid. Hey. Hey, mister! Wanna play with me? Some other time, okay? So, let me just check another kid. Hi. Hi, mister! Let's play soccer! Sorry. Maybe later, okay? So not much of the kids' characters, they really have no purpose for being here. I don't think anybody's in. So a lot of knocking, but no answering the door. There's gotta be at least some doors that do like answer. No one's home. Okay. You know, I will admit, you know, despite how slow paced this is, it is a little bit addicting. I don't think anybody's in. No one's home. I don't know what it is. There's something about these slower-paced games that just really... I haven't talked to Yomagashi-san yet. Yomagashi-san! Where the hell do we find him? Excuse me. Oh, no, no, no. I've been too tired lately. If you want to talk, ask someone else. Okay, you dick. Home. Let me check something out here. I don't know whether that N plays any role, you know, that North plays any role in, you know, what direction we're supposed to be going in here. Let me see. I should go to Yomagashi-san's house.
man, I really, really should have studied this game a lot more than I than I have, because I'm really kind of lost here. Um, oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. We might be in luck. We might be in luck. Let's see. You are here. Aha! So this is how we navigate around. So we're here. So we go down. Oh, it's right down the street. At least, at least I think that's a house, isn't it? Yo, Magashi. Yeah, that would be it. Okay, so we're right down the street, pretty much. Okay. Good to know, good to know. Let's get going. Nomagashi san. See, I could be wrong, but isn't this not the place where it should be? Let's go check that map again. I'm I'm really, really, really confused. Perhaps they're out. Let me check something out here. There is not enough of these maps around this area. See there's that. Here we are. So that's where it should be. Oh, I read it wrong. Okay, we didn't go far enough. I just want to get a look at this cutscene, then we can end it. Hiya. Hey, y'all. Let's play together sometime. Sure. See ya. <sighs> These kids are creepy. Aha! Uh -huh. There it is! Okay! How is your back? Yes, it's much better. But how did you know? I heard from someone... Okay, I'm finally starting to get used to this. You know, nothing's really self-explanatory. That's the problem with this game. Uh, so far, you know, there's, not, there's no on-screen map. That compass is useless. You know, that north-south piece of crap. Could you tell me about what happened with that car? This I think it is. I'm not sure. This black car came you know, maybe I'm not reading enough into this. Um, you know, I could be missing some por portion of this gameplay that might help me a lot uh, in this. So... If there hadn't been any snow, and to make matters worse, I fell over. So I never had the chance. Oh, well, I'm glad to hear you're okay. Okay, see the whole point of that conversation. The black car went towards... Maybe people who worked there saw it. Okay. Who worked there. So, let's go back to that map. Get a good clue where the hell we're supposed to go. And then we can keep going. Let's run. Thank God for the run button in this game. Because let me tell you, as you can see, he walks like shit. Okay, so we have to go down this road to get to where we're supposed to go. Like random cat. So now we talk to the people who work there and see where the hell we're supposed to delve into the story a little more. Okay. Just talk to these people first. Excuse me. Huh? Who the hell you think you are? Yep, we're in Japan. No, just, just kidding. Didn't mean anything by that, folks. Sorry. Uh. 
Well, actually, you know, I shouldn't be say saying that because American teenage girls very much act like this. Yeah. Hit me, hit me, I don't care, come on. So we gotta talk to people who work here, um... They're not open. Now I like this kind- this is very early open world. This entire, um, game. Very RPG-ish. Um... Now there are flaws, of course. Okay, so we pretty much walk up to some random people and they pretty much explain to us what's going on. Okay, let's ask him a question. Akasaka-san. Hi, Dio. That day, did you see a black car? A black car? I hear it came from Sakuragaoka and drove through Dobuita at full speed. Hmm. I had no idea. I see. Dio, why don't you try asking people on the shopping street? Maybe someone saw it down there. Yeah? Okay, shopping street. Let's head down to the shopping street. I'm assuming it goes this way. Nozomi. Ryo, have things settled down for you any? Yeah. If there's anything I can do, be sure to let me know. Yeah. Did you happen to see a black car that day? A black car? Yeah. I will admit, the, the more I get into this, the more addicting this game becomes. You know, it's not fast-paced by any means, it's very slow. But, you know, there's something about it that just really, you know, draws you in. Um, let's end this conversation, and again, sorry, I gotta move my mic just a bit. There we go, that wasn't too bad. But I heard a rumor that Tom had an argument with the people in the car. Do you mean Tom at the hot dog truck? Yeah. Why are you asking about that car? No reason. See you later. Ryo. Who? Cheer up, will ya? Yeah. See you. Okay, so now we got another addition here. Tom, hot dog truck, had words with black car man. Okay. So yeah, we ended that conversation. We'll end it right here because we're about 42 minutes into this. Um, with Shemnu, you know what? It's slow-paced, you know, it's not a very too action-filled so far, but you know what, there's something addicting about the gameplay. It, it kind of reminds me, you know what, it, it really reminds me kind of like a detective game. It's like a, it's like kind of what L.A. Noir would become, except with kind of less of the, dete the detective work. It's more just jotting down notes and talking to people. But there's something about it that is just really addicting. It's really well designed. Uh, graphically, you know, it holds up very well. There's some flat moments, like this environment's not totally, is not totally perfect looking. There's some elements that are, um, that are toned down a little too much. But, you know what, it's a good game. You know, Shemnu 1 and Shemnu 2 are very hard to find, but, you know, if you can find, you know, Shemnu 1, I think people will be really pleased with it. It's aged well, it looks good, the cutscenes are great, and the storyline is really well thought out. And yeah, that's Shemnu. Thank you guys so much for listening, and I will see you next time.